Jingle bells, jingle. Oh, and we're back. Good e uh, good day to everybody. Um, this is Big Sauce Barbecue Christmas Special. It's been a few people requesting this, so we thought, why not? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stuff our bard first. We're gonna get some citrus fruit in here, so some limes and little oranges what you have at Christmas. So we'll get all that in there. Give it a zesty taste. Good stuff to nearly. So, to keep the boy bard moist, we're going to get some butter in where we can. Extra moist. We have what was oh, some bacon. So we're going to wrap the bacon. It's not going to be excellent. It's not going to be, but it'll be sufficient. a dry bard. Everybody wants a moist bard. stuff like this so if uh, yeah we'll be back in a little while to tell you how it cooks going thank you and we're back so we're making some pics of the blankets now we've got some made already so all we're doing is getting the sausages you have to hold that bubble tray a wee bit more there you go I'm wrapping the bacon around like that it's just stinky bacon uh moss and pork sausages you can use any sausages like so much before uh, that's all we're doing. We've got the turkey wrapped now. We've got the veg in with the turkey to soak the juices and uh, so we've got the uh, pigs in the blanket here so all we're going to do is take them over and put them in the pan. all smoked but we'll wet some stuff out the balls aren't smoked the rest of the veg and all that's all in the smoke I mean so um, yeah 
Uh, Bobby Park, remember Bobby Park? I'm our park! Ho ho ho! Christmas special! So we've got the turkey, we've got, we put the veg and all that in, we didn't show you that, which was poor from us. Uh, but yeah, there we go, we've got the turkey, we've got the veg, all the trimmings, as you can see, the bacon's a bit crispy. But that doesn't matter because we're just here to keep it moist. So all we're going to do is chuck a couple of potatoes on, uh, all we did with the potatoes was uh, feed some butter into them but uh, just put them on the ground to start with. So there you go, some carrots. We've got some stuff in. What we actually did in the oven, we're not going to lie, because we wasn't sure how it would come out. I think you mentioned that bit already, in the last bit. Well, I mentioned it. <laughs> and then we've got some Brussels. Do you like Brussels, Lewis? I don't mind them. They're, they're, they're actually alright, yeah. They are. They're, I've had, I've had worse food, but not my go-to Christmas meal item. Some parsnip. There we go. And the main attraction, some turkey. As you can see, the bacon's on it. Pull that back up. Literally, it was just to keep it moist and Save it from drying out. Which it looks like it's done. So all we're going to do is cut. Well, we know it's done because we had the thermometer then reading it. Oh. This year, the thermometer, we had to probe and all that in and just kept on top of it like that. So all I'm going to do is cut some turkey. Look at that. You want to try some of those? I'll have a wee bit in a second. I'll let you finish plating it up and making it look gorgeous. I've seen worse Christmas dinners, I can't, I can't lie to that all, one. All bar the stuffing done. On the Which I thought you could do in the stuffing if you tried. Probably could have. Maybe didn't have like, it. Well, well, maybe do a stuffing episode eh? But uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoy this Christmas episode. Uh, like we say, it's just a lot of people's ask us, so we decided to go for it. But I uh, hope everybody has a lovely Christmas. Hanukkah, whatever you... Uh, religion you are and whatever you're celebrating at Christmas time if you're not celebrating at all just have a nice 25th of December you know just for everybody keep safe and look after each other have a brilliant time over the festive periods and eat plenty of food mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.